Howdy everyone, of course it's me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, for another edition of da, 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 The Ghost Letters Report. Oh wow, it's been a long time, right? So you see my ass here on YouTube, right? But here I am again, I'm back, right? Doing another video for your pleasure, of course. And always remember, it's ribbed. <laughs> Anyways. What we're talking about today is something that when I saw this in my news feed, I just, you know, it's one of, another one of those cases where you're dumbfounded. Utterly dumbfounded by the kind of things that people get upset with. Now, what's apparently has happened, and I'm sure most of you seen this video, I've already well heard about this and some of the reactions to it, is that President Trump of America has officially banned transgender individuals from serving in the U.S. Armed Forces. And then I see the reaction of the transgender community. They're outraged. I was really surprised by that. They were outraged by this. And the only thing I could think was, really? You're mad because you're not allowed to go and kill little Arab kids and her mothers for blood, oil, and imperialism. You're actually mad about that. You're upset that you can't go kill people to further empire and these huge capitalist corporations and their agenda. You can't go over there and be a good soldier boy or a soldier girl and murder people for the benefit of people who really don't care about you at all. I blows my mind and it really I think the reaction that the transgender community is having towards this I can kind of see why I think it comes down to the whole philosophy of identity politics for the sake of identity politics equality for equality with no real end goal or purpose or larger goal for it you know what and a lot of times, and this is another example of it, this whole transgender people being banned from serving the armed forces, a lot of times, here's what ends up happening. Is that people end up fighting for equal access to capitalism and the benefits of imperialism. And this case is very clearly points that out. It's right there in people's faces. Transgender people getting upset because they can't fight in the U.S. military and go and kill innocent women and children shows that they don't want real social progress. They don't want to really transform society. What they're looking for is simply put, equal access to capitalism and the benefits of imperialism. That's all you're going to get. Let's say you get Trump to reverse the decision. And oh yeah, now transgender people can serve in the armed forces. What, what did you get? What did you get out of that? Say, now you can go kill people and be a baby killer for the benefit of imperialism. Make rich people more rich and create more pain and suffering across the world. That's what you would be fighting for. And that's what you're upset that you can't do. Essentially. It really is time to take stock of this type of stuff, especially with people who claim to be leftist or Marxist. It's really time to start taking stock of identity politics because you're really seeing very clearly in this case the effects of it. The effects of just going for the identity politics and just standing up for any minority group just for the sake of doing it. Having no real end goal, but let's get, let's get some rights for people. You know, let's get some equality going on. And equality, you're trying to achieve equality within a system that does not have equality as its end goal. It's capitalism. So any so-called social progress or gain you make will ultimately benefit capitalism and benefit imperialism. Just in this case. Let's say you get this, like I said, you get this decision reversed, you've benefited capitalism. You've opened up uh, a new group of people for the military to, to recruit 
into the ornaments. They can go over there and do all these horrible things. And you further the capital's agenda because now they got more foot soldiers available. Think about these things. You know, I thought I'd do this video to bring these points up, and I want to hear what you guys think about this. Everything I've, I've, I've come up here and said. Uh, you know, until next time. Of course, it's me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Check it out.